Someone's talking fitness, but it's not Jurgen Klinsmann. Next on MLS Now. What's up, folks? Andrew Wiebe here with the one and only armchair analyst Matt Doyle in the New York City studios. We are happy to have him as we break down the U.S. national team's 2-0 victory against Panama. A slump-busting win. Matt, it had been five games without a win, just one win in their last nine. The Americans get it done. 2-0. Michael Bradley with the rare Olympico, and then Clint Dempsey off a feed from Giassi Zardes. What did we learn? Well, I mean, first of all, beautiful feed from Giassi Zardes, but what it comes down to in this one, set pieces and counterattacks. Jurgen Klinsmann bringing the U.S. into a truly new era. Yeah, new era. Well, old era when it comes to hamstring problems. Josie out the door leaving at halftime of this one. A precaution, Klinsmann said. No big deal. But Hernan Dario Gomez, the Panama head coach, went to the fitness well after this one. We knew this was not the best Panama squad the U.S. would see. We knew that they should win this game. But how do we evaluate the performance against these guys? Well, I, I thought defensively they were mostly pretty sound. I, I think the 4-2-3-1 makes a lot of sense for the U.S. personnel. I mean, we saw what Michael Bradley did, just pinging the ball around. When you can open the game up like that from deep, I think it helps. The U.S. has athletes. We've always had athletes. It's what we do best. We didn't create a lot from possession. That's not a Klinsman's fault. That is a preseason thing, and that might be a talent thing. We're just not at our best in that type of situation. So it left us with some questions, but it left us with the, some pretty good answers, the same answers that we've had for 25 years now. Yeah, still waiting to see what will happen as these next friendlies approach. You mentioned that athleticism, though. Miguel Ibarra getting his first start on the left, Jossi Zardes getting his first start on the right, and it was Zardes in particular that had us excited after, after this one, Matt. We know he's athletic. We know he can finish after a banner 2014 for the LA Galaxy. But we're seeing that wide play that's maybe more indicative of where he'll play with the U.S. national team in this next cycle. Yeah, I mean, you never know a Klinsman. You can line him up at left midfield one game, at center back the next game. It's just the way he works. Zardes, he showed the ability to connect passes on the run. And it's, it's kind of underappreciated in the U.S. player pool because we've had guys throughout the years who have been so, so good at it. Ernie Stewart, Tab Ramos, of course, Landon Donovan was an absolute savant. It's to see Zardes create a dangerous chance like that, and of course Dempsey's going to finish that nine times out of ten, it was good to see. I mean, he's got the world at his feet. He is, he has maybe the most potential of anybody in the player pool, uh, and his trajectory is just pure upwards at this point. Yeah, 40th international goal for Clint Dempsey, a note to remember there. But this concludes the quote-unquote January camp. Of course, February is when the games come, but we won't quibble on the details. What I will ask you, though, is what did we learn? What did we get out of this? What is the U.S. going to apply going forward in 2015 and beyond? Well, I, I think we learned a couple of individual things. First of all, Jermaine Jones is now center back mm -hmm. for, for Jurgen Klinsmann. Second of all, Breck Shea at left back. I thought that looked really, really promising. It's the type of thing I think we talked about a couple of years ago during Olympic qualifying. A lot of people wanted to see him used there instead of the midfield. Uh, those are the two big ones. Michael Bradley moving back and playing better. But he well, says it doesn't matter that we've uh, talked too much about his role. Perhaps true. Perhaps true. Perhaps true. But I, I like to see him sitting deeper and spraying the ball around like that. So I think we learned some individual things uh, in terms of a formation, a style. I think we still have the same questions that we did at the beginning of the camp. Really the same questions that we've had since Klinsman took over. Yeah, waiting to see when those will be nailed down. My takeaway from this one, I don't think we're going to see the true indication of what this camp brought for a while now. Those Olympic players that came in, they've got to qualify for that competition. And Klinsman even said, hey, maybe next January it will be just those guys to prep for the Olympics. Let us know what you think in the comments section below. What did you think of the game against Panama? Have they turned the corner? We'll see you around next time on MLS Now.